Hammer Recess. Hi friends, Anna here. Today in Arm & Hammer Recess, we're gonna get a little bit messy, but the project is sure to get a reaction out of your kids. Let's go make some fizzing hands. We're gonna be combining baking soda, which is a base, and vinegar, which is an acid. When these two materials get together, a chemical reaction ensues, forming a salt and carbon dioxide gas. Now, you cannot see that gas, but you can trap it, which is what we're gonna do when we inflate our glove to give you a high five. Let's go make some fizzing hands. While your kids are assembling the ingredients for this project, I want you parents to take a few minutes to daydream. Daydream about that day when we will finally get out of our houses and you can go on that vacation that you've always planned. It will happen. Full disclosure, you guys, this project is very, very messy, but it's good, it's good. I love messy projects. So what you're gonna wanna do is you can assemble everything inside and then when you're ready to do the reaction, help your children bring it outside to a safe area. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a wide-mouthed jar. What I want you to do is take your jar and pour in three quarters of a cup of vinegar. Next, grab some dish soap and put in a really big squeeze. Adding the soap is key. What this does is it slows the reaction down and makes it really foamy. Finally, add in your food coloring. Give it a good shake or you can stir it with a spoon. Now grab your vinyl glove and parents, I'm gonna need your help on this. Alternatively, you can go ahead and do this in advance. Take your glove and a paper clip. We are going to open up our paper clip to create a little bit of a point. Now we're gonna very carefully put a hole in the tip of each finger. Grab your baking soda and we're gonna put in one tablespoon of baking soda into the glove itself. Now that we pour the baking soda into the glove, we can attach it to the jar. Now what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that these, that the baking soda and vinegar don't react yet. To really secure the glove, it's good to use rubber bands. And depending on the age of your kids, you may need to help with this step. So take your rubber band and make sure that you secure it around the entire glove. If you want, go ahead and add a second one, just to be sure. And again, be careful so that you don't accidentally put any of the baking soda into the jar yet. I am going to do this project in my studio, but you wanna make sure to be doing this outside. If your kids are gonna be doing this experiment, have them put on some safety goggles at this point. This reaction can be scaled up if you want. If you dare, you can add more baking soda and more vinegar for a bigger reaction. Are you ready? We're gonna tip the gloves up, make sure it's secure, Dump that in and stand back. making a mess today with your kids. I know I had a lot of fun, but now it's time for me to clean this up. I will see you back here again for more science fun. 